Are you coughing? Could lisinopril be causing this cough? This video will examine what's causing the cough <coughs> and how you can get rid of it. Coming up, persistent dry cough has been associated with ACE inhibitors. Doctor, I thought you were going to talk about lisinopril and one of its most common and annoying side effects. Well, lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor. ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. And here are examples of other ACE inhibitors and they've been associated with a cough as well. In studies, the numbers range from about 5 to 20 percent. And then popping up on your screen are different studies looking at this ACE inhibitor cough. What are the characteristics of the ACE inhibitor cough? It is dry, it is hacking, it is often persistent, and annoyingly bothersome. What causes the lisinopril cough? Like I mentioned before, lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor. It blocks an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme. In this way, it prevents the conversion from AT1, which is angiotensin 1, to AT2, angiotensin 2. Because of this, ACE inhibitors relax and widen your blood vessels. This lowers your blood pressure and makes it easier for your heart to pump blood around your body. Unfortunately, as this is happening because angiotensin 2 is being blocked by lisinopril, another substance builds up in your body called bradykinin and a couple of other substances which I'm going to list here. All of these substances can build up in your airways causing an inflammatory reaction as well as a constriction of your smaller airways. This is called bronchoconstriction. And this is what you're feeling right now, that annoying persistent and bothersome tickly feeling at the back of your throat. What are other features of this cough? Who is at risk? It is more common amongst women than men. It can happen within a couple of weeks after you start treatment with lisinopril or any other ACE inhibitor. Sometimes it is delayed and you may develop symptoms after a couple of months or with some individuals after a couple of years. This study looked at a high prevalence of this cough in Chinese. This study showed an unusually high percentage, 44% with a cough. And if you're an asthmatic, you might be more affected, especially if lisinopril causes a narrowing of your smaller airways. I have a cough, what can I do? Well, here are six tips. Number one, you can be switched to another class of medication called ARB. ARB stands for angiotensin receptor blocker. An example of an ARB is losartan. This group of medications are comparable to ACE inhibitors and have a lower rate of cough. And if you're interested in a video comparing lisinopril and losartan, check this card out. Number two, your doctor or your healthcare provider can stop your medication and the symptoms should resolve within a couple of days, usually within a week, and your symptoms should start improving. With other individuals, it might take longer. And with others, even longer than that, and for some people up to three months. Number three, sometimes your doctor might want to re-challenge you with another ACE inhibitor. However, these have been associated with a high rate of reoccurrence of this cough. And if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Back to the video. Number four, there is some data to suggest that drugs such as baclofen, aspirin, or even indomedicine may help suppress this cough. I'm very hesitant about suggesting this. One thing, you're treating a side effect of a medication with yet another medication. Secondly, medications such as indomedicine or other NSAIDs are associated with renal problems and can contribute to higher potassium levels. Number five, depending on your constellation of comorbidities, your healthcare provider might want to switch you to another class of blood pressure medications. They usually would fall into one of the following categories, beta blockers, thiazide diuretics, or calcium channel blockers. Number six, another possibility would be to use a lower dose of the ACE inhibitor. This might be an alternative, especially if your healthcare provider believes the medication that you're on is helping you with your comorbidities, such as hypertension or heart failure. Nonetheless, you still might experience side effects as these side effects are not dose dependent. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here, click right here, have a good day and think your health. This time, my son was not running around, but I don't know if you can hear it. He's having a bath. This is, this is done in our basement. You know, the pipes are connected and you can hear the trickling of the water all the way down and it's echoing right to you in YouTube land.